So, it's been a hot minute. I think it's been a hot mm, five or six months. Yeah. Um, about that, you know, I've been doing a little bit of fishing. This fall was kind of crazy. Uh, you know, the, the whole summer was kind of weird with everything that's going on. But, you know, come fall, like I said, the, the fishing kind of slowed down because things got pretty busy at work. You know, really focusing my attention on the Lone Angler podcast. That's been a big thing for me. And, uh, yeah, December is typically a... a a pretty busy month for me as far as like fishing shows and in-store stuff that I have to do with some of the companies that I have contracts with. So, you know, um, the, I have been out ice fishing just a little bit uh, here and there when I got time. I haven't uh, done anything really that special, I guess I should say. Um, I kind of want to take Minnesota Chomp to uh, more of a, I don't know what you'd call it. I've decided to do things a little bit different with Minnesota Chomp in this channel. You know, I'm just going to film stuff that I think is is pretty cool to film. Uh, stuff that I want to do, not that I, I just don't want to film stuff because I feel like I have to. Um, not that I'm anything special, I just... It's the creative side in me that wants to do that. So, without further ado, it's good to be back. Um, this video is from the table because it is currently, I don't know, like 23 below zero. And then we throw in a little bit of wind. It's somewhere like minus uh, 35 or something like that. Yesterday it was minus 51 or 52 or something like that with the wind. So I don't fish in that stuff anymore. I don't need to. I don't have to. So I'm not going to do it. Plus, I like my equipment not broken. A lot of ice fishing gear is designed for winter. But, you know, there's there's probably a, a limit, you know. Um, but with that being said, we are going to talk about some stuff that I've done over last winter. And then the little bit... I've carried it on through some of these little tips and tricks that I've I've discovered and some things that that have been working for me. I, I tested them out last winter, didn't really talk about them, and then I've carried it on over into this winter and the little bit of ice fishing that I have done just to to see if it still works. So I want to share that with you today. Having trouble talking, I haven't had enough caffeine. Uh, where do we start? Let's start with fishing rods, shall we? Yeah, I got my, my 2B ice rod bag. I love this bag. Um, a little disclaimer, I do do some promotional work for uh, 2B, uh, 2B Ice and, and Elliot Fishing Rods, Two Brothers Innovations. Uh, I've been doing some stuff and rod building and whatnot with those guys for a while now. But with that being said, even if I wasn't uh, associated with that company in the depth that I am, I still would, my eyes would still see this bag and, and want this bag. It, uh, I've covered this in a video before, but after using it all last season and so far into this season, it is freaking awesome. It holds the right amount of rods that I need. Currently right now I have, uh, three in here. It will hold four. That's all I, I. That's more than I need in here. Um, got a sunglasses pouch that I use. I use mostly for bait pucks. Uh, I have them out because I got them in a different spot right now because I've been reorganizing gear for a little trip that I got coming up. But it's got these nice big deep pockets. So the first one here carries some miscellaneous stuff. I got some old plastics. The unhook them, which is pretty awesome. Groove micro jig box. What else do I got in here? Ah, some more plastics. So that's what's in there in that pocket. Let me throw this stuff back in here real quick. So these pockets are nice and big, and deep. Zip that sucker back up. 
And then it also has one more pocket down here. And here I carry more soft plastics. I got my P3 plastics, but I'll go over that here in a second. And then a little spoon box, which I'll show you that here in a second as well. But yeah, I really like this bag. It's really, uh, this rod bag is really doing well. It's, it's a hard shell hybrid. Let me, let me see if I can get some audio here. Bingo. So the rods are protected awesomely. Very nice. I have too much stuff. So I'm just going to kind of put that right there. We were going to talk about rods. So let's do that. Uh, also new this year. Oh, I'm using some of the new 2B rods. So right here I have this uh, Ultimate Nude. Uh, I think this baby is yeah, 34 inch. I can't say enough good things about this rod. I really, really like it. Um, still doing my tape method. Um, it's still holding up well. I like it. It's a good, comfortable rod. Um, it's got the little split grip on here. Eh, that's my only thing. Eh. Don't hate it. Don't love it. I work with it. New for me this year are clam straight drop reels. Uh, 30 bucks, super well built. I used to be, I used to have nothing but the, the Fraybill 101 XLAs, which are great reels too, but these, they're a little bit smaller in diameter and these seem to be a little bit more robust. I really, really dig in that. And uh, so we're gonna leave that one on the table here. We're gonna go into Another one that I think is really super cool. This one here, the Mag Lurchin. Uh, this one comes in, I think at, uh, yeah, 34 inches. It's like a medium fast, um, nice light walleye rod, I guess. I use it for some deeper crappies. Um, again, split grip, <laughs> you know, here nor there. Um, I used to have cool blue matching blue hockey tape, but I can't find it. So I went with white and I actually don't mind it because then I can write on it what it exactly is. But the Mag Lurchin, very awesome rod. I've uh, been using that all winter. And I have one more in here. Uh, this one here. This one is really, mm, how do I put this? Becoming one of my favorites. Uh, I was a big fan of the soft touch last year and this is, similar but a little bit different this one's called the savant also got a clam straight drop reel on here um this one here i think is yeah 32 and it's a medium light and i really like this for the big big bluegills that swim around here in bemidji it's also got a really nice tip where a guy could put on a spring uh a spring bobber if you want and uh, that's, I'd like to get my hands on another one of these and rig it up with an adjustable spring bobber. I'm still a huge fan of that. So yeah, those are the three rods that are new from 2B that I've been using and I really, really like them. I have one more rod back here and I haven't used it yet, but it is being talked about a lot. And this is the Elliott Evolution. I have a 44 inch light ice fishing rod yes 44 inches uh she's a big in she's a big one and um i fish out of a eskimo wide one one man shack this will not fit inside there uh my use for this rod is going to be late ice when i'm not flipping over the shack yeah another good use for this rod will be this summer in open water i'll be using this rod a ton in the float tube and yes this summer i will be making a bunch more float tube content yeah this is a super a super cool rod i got it rigged up with some really light micro braid right now and there's a little i got a little snap on here floral carbon leader and then uh, a really small swivel i don't know if i can get you to yeah just a really small swivel and what I'll be doing with this rod, this late ice, is uh, probably running small spoons with this. Possibly fishing some, some walleyes with it here before that season closes as well. But uh, yeah, pretty cool rod. I'm really excited to use that one. Okay. Here comes the fun one. 